world on the streets. So this is really going crazy right now. You all know that Yogari was so scared of big joke killers, right? They made him to go and hire some heavy armed private securities. I mean, snipers, bro. They say that snipers was on the church roof where they were doing the wake for, for big joke, bro. It's really crazy. You get it? Listen up, bro. This is really crazy when you think about it. Big Duke funeral. They had all the Memphis Police Department, right? They, all the MPD was out there, bro. We had so many police out there. Uh, we had heavy armed private securities out there. And everywhere was on lockdown. You feel me? Just for Big Duke. I mean, we... You know, it wasn't uh, a president funeral or stuff like that. Bro, this big joke, bro. And this is really crazy. I was really surprised. You know why? Because I never expected that to happen. Now, I understand the fact that the first stepped in and the first were investigating the issues. But this is facts, bro. Your Gary is scared of big joke killers. Trust me. It's crazy, right? Your Gary... He's so scared of Big Joe's killer, bro. He's so scared of these goons, man. Right? He, do he doesn't want to take no more chances. He was out there, you know, he wasn't trying to play gangster. You get what I'm saying? He was just trying to protect his family. He was just trying to, you know, make sure that no one gets hurt. But, you know, my own my own question to you, Gary, right now is, bro, when your uncle died, what the F did you think that, you know, there was no need for you to, you know, get all these private heavy armed securities to come secure your family? I mean, you should have, you should have started doing that shit from, you know, when you came to, uh, to, to Memphis with Big Job doing your uncle's funeral because, you know, you weren't expecting danger. But right now, all of a sudden, you want to hire all these private securities because you started expecting danger, bro. It's really crazy. I mean, this is the reason why people say that, you know, said all manner of conspiracy theories that, you know, your daddy was actually sacrificing Big Juke and stuff like that for him to stay free and all that conspiracy theories. Now, listen up, bro. You know, some of some of these guys, they can be crazy with their conspiracies. But, you know, when you look at stuff that happens, you kind of read meaning into it. You get what I'm saying? So right now, a lot of people are saying that Yugari is no, is no real street ninja because he, you know, he, he, he wasn't supposed to have all this police out there. You know, he wasn't supposed to have all this heavy armed security should have pulled up with, with you know, with, with the CMG goons and stuff like that. But that's not the way it works. Yugari is scared of his life. Bro is scared of his life, bro. He doesn't want to take a second chance because I told you they're already sending your Gary some death threats. He was getting a lot of threats, bro. You know, he was scared of his life. You all remember when he went to perform on stage the first time after the death of Big Juke, right? He was on stage and he was putting on bulletproof vests, right? He had bulletproof vests on him. You feel me when he was talking about that incident on stage, bro? So you, Gary, was scared of his life. He was effing scared, bro. You all can see. He's scared, bro. He's scared as a motherfucker. Now, listen up, bro. I will say this. It is really crazy. If you are a big duke, right? And you lost your life. And you, Gary, and you are in the shoes of you, Gary, right now. And you want to make a decision. And you want to go back to the same city that they just killed. Now, listen up, bro. Big joke happens to be one of the realest out here, right? You got it just happens to be the millionaire, right? He happens to be the he happens to be the record label executive who got a lot of money. But Big Juke was his protection in the streets. You get what I'm saying? He was rapping all that music about Big Juke and all that crazy stuff that he was talking about in his music. He was only rapping about Big Juke, bro. He was rapping about Big Juke's life in the streets and stuff like that. And you all hear what you Gary's mom said about Big Juke, you know, being the one that is running the street real good. So, bro, you know, your Gary was in the place of 
damn, they just killed Big Joe. They can kill me too. So let me tighten up, bro. Let me tighten up. Let me get these securities. Let me get these snipers out here. Let me make sure I stay protected. That's definitely what you got it was thinking. You feel me? So it's really crazy, bro. It's really crazy. But rest in peace to Big Joe, bro. They just did the wake. And, you know, a lot of people was talking about it on social media. And it's really crazy. Let me know what you all think under the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys later.